Hello everyone and welcome to episode 58 of the Kyoki Puro series, the local global series here on the channel in the Seaverse of TW2020 as uh, for the Strike Force card, which is I believe our fifth Strike Force, I believe. Fourth. No, no, fifth. I'm, <laughs> that was right the first time. As uh, our fifth Strike Force card. Just crazy that uh, we've gone so far and we've gone for so long in this series, but it's been so much fun to book. As uh, for this Strike Force card, we're going to have three title matches. We have a national title, tag team title match, and the main event of Carlos Gonzalez and Ant Man for the Kyoki Piro titles. That should be a lot of fun. Plus, uh, we're going to have the return of Kimi Kawano on this show, a man who has, uh, you know, one of the many death matchers, or death match workers, rather, instead of just death matchers, uh, death match workers that have come and gone throughout Kyoki Piro, and they just get pissed and leave. But he is back, and uh, it should be a lot of fun to see how he, uh, you know, how much of an impact he can have on Kyoki Piro and his return. As uh, we're going to start. I don't know, I was about to start from the bottom up, and I was like, wait, that's probably a terrible idea. We'll just go from the top, from the bottom, as always, as uh, we, we already know the main event. Carlos Gonzalez taking on Ant-Man, as Ant-Man is not on this show. Great, 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 he is at all, <laughs> he's at all Canada Pro Wrestling. All right, well, <laughs> well, so much for that, as uh, we'll uh, have to go with something else now. All right, so, I don't know if this will be the main event. Because I don't feel like it's going to be that good of a match. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> boy, oh fucking boy. Wow. Uh, we are in a bit of a pickle here. Alright. Uh, so we'll just kind of... See what happens here. Um, We're going to do... Boy. Uh, we'll, we'll do the tag match. That we had planned. Which is going to be Legion of Love. Taking on uh, the Gonzalez family. But instead of... Uh, Carlos and Marco, which is going to be Hector, so it's Hector and Marco. Now I begin to go to Yamamoto. Well, I mean, it's not going to be a terrible match by any means, but it's not going to be, like, main event quality like Ant-Man and Carlos Gonzalez is going to be, but that's where we're at. Legion and Love are going to get the win. I'm assuming Marco's going to take the fall. We'll just go ahead and make that a thing. This is why... <laughs> So always check your schedule every time. Every time before you run a show, just be like, hey, what's going on? What's what's happening? What's the haps? You know, you just gotta make sure everything is uh, squared away. It's Ray Snow taking on uh, Park Min Soup. Or actually, yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be Park Min Soup for the uh, national title. Which, I mean, that's not a great co main event, but. You know, with two guys that are we're building up in the card, so that's nice. And Raiso's going to get the win, obviously having a big win against... I, I think, actually, got a perfect... So we're going to have a... a uh... Okay, so yeah, we're going to have a national time match. So I think the main event's actually going to be Carlos and Aztec Prince, actually. I like that. Um, I, I like that a lot, so we're going to... That. Aztec Prince... We'll be getting the win. We're going to give that a little bit more time than usual. But I think that's a pretty good main event, especially, you know, for what we could have had. Uh, but I think this is uh, this could tell a pretty great story as far as the idea. Uh, we were going to show that recap video of uh, Carlos Gonzalez jumping Ant-Man in the parking lot. But now we can show that and have Carlos cut a promo saying, you know, I, you know, I took out you know, the Kyoki Puro champion, he's not going to be able to be here tonight to take, you know, to defend his championship. And Aztec Prince is going to be like, oh, this, he might not be here, but I'll step up and I'll take you on and I'll take you out. You know, the type of just being the baby face, even though Aztec Prince, I think, is actually a heel from what I remember, even though I don't think we do face and heels. I know we don't, uh, so that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's not a huge deal. But either way, uh, I think that's a great little way to have a Aztec Prince you know, bounce back from losing his national title to bounce back into the into the main event scene anyways. And then, you know, with him beating Carlos, it's not going to set up for a triple threat match with Aztec Prince, Carlos Gonzalez, and Ant-Man for the championship. So I think that's just going to be a great way of, uh, you know, having setting up a title match. So I think that's going to be pretty well. I, you know, it's going to be much different than what I had planned. I, it was going to be uh, Ant-Man taking on Carlos, obviously, on this show. 
Ant Man's going to win. Then it was going to be Aztec Prince and Ant Man 101. But that's fine. It will go this route as Aki Kamil and Stunner Saku. It's the next match. Oh, no. They've had. That's right. They've had poor chemistry in the past. Maybe we won't do that. Let's just see what we got here. So, obviously, uh, Waiko's going to be a tag match in the undercard against Cloak and Shadows, which that's pretty much what we had. Just to <laughs> remind everyone, I mean, that's kind of what we. Oh, no. No, I thought we had that booked already on an undercard. Maybe we didn't. All right, well, never mind. Um, Yeah, so that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and not to worry about that. So, uh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I guess we could do Mercury. We could do Ryoku. Yeah, we'll do Stunner in Mercury. They've had... Uh, matches actually already so maybe not do that <laughs> never mind uh yeah we'll just have it be stunner in ryoku with uh ryoku getting the win oh no not, no no never mind oh my that, that was <laughs> that could have been real bad uh no stunner Siaku getting the win jesus jesus i was uh, now I was thinking for a second that could have been real bad all right Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so now we're going to do the Waiko. Yeah, now we'll, we'll do that. Waiko Cloaked and Shadows tag match. With, obviously, Waiko getting the win there. As I will have you to get the win. All right. So we'll do it, obviously. Oh, wow. Actually, pretty close on running out of time, actually. Wow, I did not expect that. I was, um, yeah, so we're going to have to do the the promo. So it was going to be after uh, Kenji Akamatsu is going to take on Kira Claiborne. And obviously, with Kenji handing in his notes, he's going to leave. So we're going to try to get Kira over the big win over Kenji Akamatsu in a death match. And uh, post-match promo from... Kenji Akamatsu is kind of hinting at retirement, you know, talking about, you know, all the 20 years of going up and down the road, going through death matches, you know, it's taking its toll, and he's thinking about retiring, and fucking Akimi Kawano kind of spoils his bit of a send-off with uh, jumping the rail with a bundle of light tubes on his back, kind of like it's like, um, kind of like roped around him type of thing, and he takes it off after he slides in the ring wax him, you know, and takes him out as uh, Kimi Kawano back in uh, Kyoki Puro um, makes his return uh, I, I, I would like to say how I would put this so makes his return and uh, I wouldn't say spoil, I guess you could say spoil I'll just put in ruins Akamatsui's Enough. All right. Yeah, I like that. That sounds a little better. So, technically, it's going to be based off entertainment because it's a promo leading into the beatdown. This should have been separated in two different angles, but it's not a huge deal. I think what we're going to base this on is fighting. I don't actually. Openness would probably be a little easier, and then defeats, success. Yeah. All right. So now the death match between Kira Claiborne and Ken Jagamot. So just probably going to go about five minutes. Don't think it's going to go long. Kira Claiborne getting the win. He's probably just fucking pissed as hell. Oh, uh, yeah, and it's usually Ant-Man in this scenario, but he's not here, so I guess we're going to go with Carlos. Oh, who who's best? Wait, who? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's probably never going to come back <laughs> at this rate, but fuck it. And then we'll probably, well, we're out of time, so we can't really do anything else. I guess we can cut a little bit of time off of this. That 10, 12 minutes again. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Uh, we might cut off <laughs> three minutes. Oh, God. 
<laughs> That's a terrible idea. I think we're just going to keep it five. Well. Uh, I guess we'll just have this be a two-minute promo. That's not a lot of time. Oh, boy. Boy, boy oh, boy. This is not, this is not going well. Uh, we're, we are scrambling for time. A big bit. Well, okay, now now this makes sense. All right, so Carlos Gonzalez shows the video of the beatdown. Beat him up so badly he won't be appearing. Ah oh, well, tonight and then you know, as uh, Aztec Prince comes out and. Says, oh, you know, he might not be here, but I'll take you on. As I will have to filter. Have a... Usually we can... There we go. Eight man. Off screen, overness. Entertainment. And entertainment from Carlos. It's a whole deal, but I, I think that gets the point across. Yep, and we are at 91, so that's perfect. Uh, the booking analysis, I think we had our one death match, and then obviously, oh no, we need a high spots match too. Okay, so to pick the high spots matchup, probably shouldn't be this, well, not definitely not that match, but, you know, the Legion of Love match with Hector, because Hector can do it, everybody can do it, but Marco, I believe, yeah. So, I mean, that might be the best route path of least resistance so we'll go with that and uh yeah i think that's the card i don't know promo and video showcase and whatnot so they kind of were shit they were stumbling over everything with uh, them going off script uh, script to them that's all right not a big deal 262 people at the hall of nagama for this as yeah the fans i forgot that uh, the fans hate when uh, that type of shit happens when young lions beat uh someone that's you know actual star but kira claiborne Gets the one with the death, or gets just the win. I, I thought she had a finish. I thought she had a lariat. Could have been wrong. Guess not. Either way, she gets the win in five minutes over Kinjag Matsui. Trying to build a star. I'm trying to, and worth spitting in the face of tradition in the meantime. <laughs> I have a young Lions beat people when they shouldn't have beat them. But, Kimi Kawano has made his return, and he, uh, you know, Kinjag Matsui did a very good job with his promo as well, and Kimi Kawano's gimmick, thug. MDK all fucking day. Just to feel like Kimi Kawano is just the Japanese version of Nick Gage in my head when I think of him. As uh, Cloak to Shadows, Waiko. Waiko getting the win in 9.50. Yuta Sano gets the pinfall win over Prowler with the Superstar Maker. Yeah, 55 for Kaito Dewan. 48 for Yuta Sano. 30 for Shadow. 23 for Prowler. We gotta change Yuta's gimmick, but that's alright. Got the crowd out there too. So far, it's been the best thing on the show. As a Ryoku taking on Stunner Saku as a uh, Stunner Saku getting the one with the Twisting Face Crusher. A 45 for Stunner, 21 for Ryoku. Got the crowd hotter as well somehow. We'll take it as well. Ray Snow doing a great job here with a nice old national title match against Park Mean Supas. He almost did a 40 as well. A spinning back fist gets the win for Ray Snow in his first defense of the national title. It's a big win for him. So our tag match gets a 53. Wow, well, Nami Genda with a 61. Here guys, Nami Genda and Koji Yamamoto, the Legion of Love, getting the win over Hector Gallinado and Marco Gonzalez. It's Koji Yamamoto submitting Marco Gonzalez to the Love Lock. It's the third defense of the Kyoku Puro Tag Team Titles for the Legion of Love, who have been... I mean, they're... I want to say they have broken the most defenses right now with three, which is hilarious to think that's only been the, the most somebody's had in the five years history, but it's awesome that uh, we got a team that's very, very good. I mean, I'm beginning this with the high spots ratings, you know, 61 and 42, that's not bad at all. That's some some good stuff. It's going to be tough to beat. Let's see if the main event can do it, and they do. As Aztec Prince gets the win with the triple powerbomb over Carlos Gonzalez from 10.05, 55 for Aztec Prince and a 50 for Carlos Gonzalez, which sets up the now triple threat match uh, is what we're going to lead into the triple threat match uh, with our next show. Awesome stuff. That was actually, you know, when we got a 50, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Obviously, the opener kind of stunk because of <laughs> we had a young lion beat established star. But that's all right. <laughs> it was Aztec Prince. 
And, uh, Carl, I mean, the top half of the card did their part. And even, you know, White Cone and Cloak and Shadows was a 45. But just, uh, goddamn, that opener fucking stunk. But, uh, man, that's... See, who to put over? That's, I mean, I think Asik Prince, obviously, and Carlos and Namigan. I think that's a fair, fair assessment. There's it. All right. Well, that will do it for that episode. Thank you all for watching, as we'll catch you guys next time for more Kyoki Pure action. Take care, everyone.